Hi, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial today. What I'm going to be showing you how to do is make Valkyrie's jetpack power from Apex Legends. So with that said, let's go and get into it. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a folder with the camera shake in it. So this is the camera shake I'm using. If you don't know how to use a camera shake, go ahead and right click the content browser, go to blueprint class, all classes drop down, and type in camera shake base. Okay, and then click on that and it's going to create this. And now if it doesn't show the event graph, just up at the top there will be a little blue link that says uh, open full event graph or something, or full editor. Okay, and now by default this isn't going to be here, so what you want to do is going to be on none. You want to go to wave oscillator camera shake pattern. Okay, that's going to give all this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to location and set all of these to zero. You can leave this here, but set these to zero. Okay. So X, Y, Z on location need to be zero. Then on rotation, pitch and yaw are going to be zero as well. But roll is going to be 0 0.1 and 7.0. And you can leave it as initial offset type as random. Okay, I found that's what eight, that's what respawn uses. Um, the second thing that's very important is on duration, you want to set it to negative 1.0. So it's infinite. If you leave it at 1.0, which is the default, it'll play once and then stop. For the blend in time and blend out time, set that to 1.0. So that's basically it for the camera shake. Okay, now let's go and go into our third person character. All right, and what we're gonna do is we are going to set up the player character for Valve's powers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to third person character and I'm gonna go down to use control rotation yaw. Okay, I'm gonna check that. And then the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to character movement and we're gonna go to flying, which is down here. And we're gonna set the braking deceleration flying to 150. Okay, now in game I'm using first person. All I'm doing is hiding the head and putting the camera closer under the mesh. And I'm not parenting it to any bones because that's not what I want to do. And I click use pawn control rotation. So remember, just line it up with the head, hide the bone, and then use pawn control rotation for the camera. That's basically it for that. So now we can actually get into the logic for this. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make two custom events. Okay, so we're going to call custom event. We're going to call this start camera shake. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here. All right, and then we're going to create another one called stop camera shake. And these will come in in just a second here, just a few minutes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create the camera shake with a do once node. Okay, so we'll put that in do once because if we don't do this, it'll spawn infinitely. And it'll like spawn like a thousand camera shakes at once, and we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the player camera manager. Okay, we're gonna put that right here because we're gonna use it down here as well. And then we're gonna start world shake, start camera shake. So start camera shake. Okay, and I named mine Valk's camera shake. If you remember, it's right here. Whatever you named it to, that's what you're gonna use. We're gonna promote this to a variable. We're gonna call this. Uh, camera shake of that. That's what I'll call mine. You can call yours whatever you want. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do stop camera shake. Shake on the stop camera shake. Okay. And now this doesn't need to do once node, but what this is going to do is it's going to go into the reset. And now we need to take this camera shake valve variable and we need to put it into the shake instance. Okay. And now what this is going to do is it's going to play the camera shake once. And then whenever we call the stop of it, it'll reset it. Now this camera shake's infinite, so we don't want to do it. We don't want to spawn it multiple times. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, that's basically that for now. Next thing we need to do is we need to create a branch check. Okay, and this is spacebar. All I did was just type in spacebar right there, clicked it, and that's it right there. Um, you can't create your own action mapping in the input uh, settings in the project settings if you want. Uh, but so what we're going to do here, is we are going to uh, is falling. We're going to get the is falling character movement. And the reason we're doing this is in Apex Legends, Valkyrie's jetpack activates when she's in the air and falling. So if you jump once and then press it again, the jetpack will activate. Okay. And now what we need to do is we need to set movement mode to flying. Okay. And then we need to create a new variable called is hovering. Okay, so we're going to call this is hovering. This will be a boolean, so a true false statement. 
yes or no is what that means. Um, okay, and so we're going to set that to true. Now on the released, since Valve has a release button, um, at least that's how I play, I think they have a toggle for it. Um, but we'll do is flying, is flying, okay, and we're going to do true, set, we'll just take this, okay, well, true, set movement mode to falling, and set the is hovering to be untrue. Now we're going to be using this is hovering thing now. Okay, so essentially what this is checking is, is they, are they falling, did they jump, and are they in the air? Yes, set it to flying, set on hovering to be true. Are they currently flying? If yes, stop the flying, set it to falling, and set the uh, is hovering to false. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to use event tick. Okay, and we are going to do a branch, and we're going to get is hovering. Okay. If that is true, then what we want to do is we want to set actor location. Okay, and we're going to get a actor location plus plus add. Okay, and we're going to put this at 3.0. I feel uh, based on my testing, that's the best that um, it's close to what respawn does for Apex. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we are going to set the field of view. And this is going to be a little bit of um, polish for it to make it actually feel like Apex. That's where a lot of it comes from. So for the current field of view, we're going to get field of view. Uh, I think I need to get the camera. Yeah, so get the camera you're using, get field of view, OK? And now what this is going to do is it's going to smoothly interpolate, so smoothly transition from the current field of view to a to a higher one to demonstrate um, gonna demonstrate that speed is happening, right? Jetpacks are fast. Okay, so we are going to get world delta seconds, and all of this is just for the intert node. Okay, we're gonna set the intert to 4.0. The higher you go, the faster it'll interpolate, the smaller you go, the slower it will interpolate. So just be aware of that. Interpolation is just animations moving. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to set field of view, follow camera. There we go. Okay. And then we want to stop or start the camera shake. So let's think it's camera shake, start camera shake. There we go. Okay. So now what we need to do is on false, we need to take this. So we're going to take this right here. Okay. And we are going to set this to 90, as that's what it currently is. And then we are going to change the start to stop the camera shape. OK. And then one final thing you need to make sure is that the roll and the pitch are set to uh, the make rotator and break rotator on the movement input. By default, it's only Z. That won't work with flying. OK. And if you want to know how, I, how I'm hiding the bone, all I did was the hide bone by name and got the bone name head, and that's it. Okay, so now that that's said, it should work. So as you can see, I can move, and then I can fly. And if I hover, I'll go up, 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 and then down, and then in the direction. Okay, and then I can drop and hover again. And that is basically Valkyrie's uh, jetpack power in Unreal Engine. Thank you for watching. If you like these specialized tutorials, um, hit the follow button and like the video. Thank you.